that is the body, material thing that soul never die. This was darkness that I will die because I identify myself that in my senses, body and mind. This natural, this has to die. You give divine eyes to understand you are not that. This is not your saru, is a covering saru. You, who are the original Supreme Lord, uh -huh. controller of all beings, uh -huh. the eye for persons blinded by darkness, you see. have I, eyes like the sun. Yeah. I blinded. I am blind. <coughs> My forgetness of myself. This is my dad. You, who are the original Supreme Lord, controller of all beings, the eye for persons blinded by darkness, have arisen like the sun. O oh Lord, you should dispel this illusion, which is an obstacle to bhakti. This is the obstacle to bhakti. What is obstacle? That if I don't identify myself, obstacle will be always there. When divine eyes will not come, obstacle will be there. Blockage will stop. I will block. You see more. Oh Lord, you should dispel this illusion, which is an obstacle to bhakti. Bhakti and jnana is different thing. Jnana, bhairagya, Yoga, these are different subjects. Bhakti is different. I show you Prabhupada lives. Before was Gyan. I said, this is the work of the material body, Gyan. A spiritual body not want Gyan. A spiritual eyes want Prem Bhakti, Jahote Abhidya Vinastya. He wants frame, love. No gyan. I will show you Prabhupada man. You see. It's no we don't need gyan. Gyan is the obstacle. Bharat is the obstacle. Yo yogi, I will see the words of Prabhupada right there. Yeah, go on. Oh Lord, you should dispel this illusion, which is an <coughs> obstacle to bhakti. Obstacle? What is obstacle in your devotion to your loving relation? Bhakti means love in action. Bhakti, bhakti, devotion. What is devotion? When I will realize my spiritual identity, my sorrow, and I will fix my form. And that relation when we will start acting, that is bhakti. Bhakti in relation works. Go on. O oh, oh Lord, you should dispel this illusion, which is an obstacle to bhakti, having misconceptions such as I and mine for body, and house produced by your energy. Go on. Surrendering unto you. Surrendering, you see. When surrender, the senses cannot surrender. This can surrender to the very difficult. 
soul can surrender. Your living consciousness will surrender to the Lord. Guru Kripa, Chakshudhan will come, Divine Wizard will come, your soul will surrender. Surrender. The sense of surrender, Krishna will not accept. Material thing he create, he don't like. He like what he create, the soul, the living entity, when you will surrender that. Atmanivedanam. Pujan Sakigan Atmanivedan. Uh, what is the meaning of Atmanivedan? Yourself. Offer yourself. Atmanivedan. Yeah? Atma. You give your heart, your soul, and worship to Sakis. Here, worship will not work. Sakis means the associate of the Krishna, Radhika, worship there, Atmani Vedana, here offer yourself, that is Krishna. Surrendering unto you the eggs to cut the tree of material existence. Tree existence of material, what is this? The, uh, the Kapil Bhagavan is like an egg what? to cut the tree, the what? Uh, tree, brika, brika, brika of material existence. Ah. Surrendering unto you the X ah. means to cut, to cut the tree ah. of material existence. What is that tree? That not tree there. This body, the soul, and your senses, body and mind. These are the different, this, there. One is material existence, one is your soul existence, is spiritual existence. So cutting means you have to differentiate this. You have to understand by divine eyes these two parts is not one, not mix up. Cutting means your jnana, Dibya Jnana Chakshu will define this to part. This is not knowledge can do, only by Kripa, Dibya Jnana can do, you can differentiate that. I offer respects to you, the best among knowers of bhakti, with a desire to know about the jiva in the material world and jiva bhakti. and material world. Jiva in material world. What is existing? Jiva is existing. What I am? I am material or spiritual? If I am material, world, then body, senses, and mind. I identify myself like that. And when I am a jiva, then why I forget this? Why not I remember this? Why I forget? What is the reason for that? We have to cut, we have to differentiate this. Right? Maitreya said, hearing his mother's faultless desire for increasing liberation of humanity, Kapil, thanking her by his intelligence, with a slight smile on his shining face, spoke about the path of the devotees who accept Kapila as the Lord. The Supreme Lord said, I approve of yoga concerning the Atma for giving one personal benefit. By that, there is complete uprooting of material happiness and distress. 
Again. The Supreme Lord said, I approve of yoga concerning the Atma. Yeah. Yoga start not at yoga physically. Atma to Parma. By that, there is complete uprooting of material happiness and distress. I will explain to this you. This is yoga. I will explain to you that yoga, whose many parts are easy to perform, which I previously explained to the sages eager to hear. The mind is the cause of bondage and liberation for the jiva. Attachment to the gunas causes bondage, but attraction for the Lord causes liberation. When the mind is free of the contamination of lust and greed, it will give only liberation. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. We are not searching for a liberation, right? We are searching for Bhakti. But Bhakta never say, I want to liberate you, Lord. He is a Panjam Pursa. So he is explaining how much you can go with this up to liberation. You cannot go more than the high than the brilliant. Now it will come. When the mind is free of the contamination of lust and greed mm. arising from false identity of mm. I and mine, mm -hmm. and becomes pure without grief, without joy and peaceful, the jiva sees himself different from ignorance, full of knowledge, devoid of coverings, subtle, undivided and unattached, as well as sees ignorance <coughs> devoid of power to affect him by a mind endowed with jnana and vairagya and principally with bhakti. Because Bhakti is the mother of Jnana-Vairagya. <coughs> bhakti, without Bhakti, Jnana-Vairagya is disservice. Because she is the mother. Main cause is Bhakti for Jnana and Bhairagya. I want to know myself. <clears throat> I become free from the material covering, but not I want to liberate. I want to connect. I want to come know my form to relate with. There is no auspicious path for attaining perfection of relationship with the Lord, you say. This is the knowledge of my soul to relate with you. I don't want to free from relation from you. I want to identify you to relate with you. Again. Again, repeat it. There is no auspicious path <coughs> for attaining perfection of relationship with the Lord for practitioners except a type of bhakti which is most suitable for realizing the Supreme Lord, the soul of all beings. Yes. Knowing myself 
is to develop bhakti with that identity, not with my flesh identity. You cannot do bhakti. You can use for doing something, but the bhakti is happening from your heart, soul. Atmani Vedana. This is yoga. This is yoga relation with loving relation. Sambandha jnana make you a thai to be in relation. Immediately I will forget my spiritual identity if I will not make relation with my spiritual jivata. Where is this? Oh, how I will know the sadhu? You read? This is Kami. Kami. Yes. The wise know that bad association is strong bondage for the soul. You see? Bondage for not you, for the soul. And you are soul. Again, they will bring you in gunas. And then this guna will bring you to the body answers. Yeah. The wise know that bad association is strong bondage for the soul. So, covering. Association with devotees, however, opens the door to devotional liberation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such devotees are tolerant, merciful, friendly to all beings, without enemies, gentle, straightforward, and respectful to other devotees. They perform steady bhakti to me with exclusive devotion, giving up all actions to attain me, giving up friends and relatives. Taking shelter of me, they recite and listen to pure stories. They are not afflicted by material miseries and thus fully absorb their minds in me. Those devotees are devoid of attachment to artha, dharma, kama, and moksha. What devoidness? Without attachment. You see? Understand? They have no interest. Dharma, artha, kama, moksha. This is dharma, is a jail dharma. Artha is a real wealth, is your, your identity, your spiritual identity is your real wealth. Knowing yourself, you are free. You know, Abhideha, you become free from your plastic body. It's only plastic. You use this covering for your right way. This is good. That this circumstances he creates to things for that. This is your land to work. You got the mercy that Gurudev give mercy that you make the base to to be understand this subject. Is a great mercy in your our life. This is a home to live. 
This is a temple to live to understand the subject. Understand? You should desire their association, these devotees. They destroy the faults of material association. From association with the best devotees, topics of my glorious pastimes become directly realized, bringing the devotee to Nishta. Then the topics. See, bringing to devotee from faith to Nishta. Hmm. Pandiji say, Sardha. Sadhu Sardha. Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha. First faith will come, then Sadhu Sangha will come. Why? You are faith. You have it, Maharaj. Please. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> you have a faith, naturally you will get Sadhu Sangha. Huh? Yeah. Done. You will get the sadhu sangha. Sadhu sangha? Huh? Yeah. Sadhu sangha? Then? Bhajan Kriya. What? Bhajan Kriya? Guru Padashra Bhajan Kriya. Bhajan Kriya. Without sadhu sangha, Bhajan Kriya will not happen. And when bhajan kriya will happen, anartha nevarthi automatically, no time for anartha nevarthi. But how do you do? After that, anartha nevarthi then? Nishtha. There is one side nishtha and one side is your bhajan kriya. Anartha nevarthi, no time for that. You will escape. You will all Anarthas can anarthas means problem, disturbance. You free. If you have no bhajan kriya and no nishtha, then anartha is here. Problem is here. When nishtha will be there and you have a bhajan kriya, anartha will come and go. They cannot touch you. You see, very nice line as from, uh, from association with the best devotees, topics of my glorious pastimes become directly realized, bringing the devotee to Nishta. Yes. Then the topics become an elixir for the heart and ears at the stage of Ruchi. By taste for these topics, asakti, bhava, and then prema for the Lord, who is the destroyer of material life, quickly develop in sequence. What is this? Prema. Alternative goal is love. Hmm. 